Welcome back to our channel, Rust and Dust. We picked this piece up from Goodwill for just $40 and the interior was in perfect condition and the exterior just had a few flaws, some peeling veneer and a few scratches. And it looked like the top of the dresser had a thin layer of veneer over a sheet of MDF. But overall, we knew this piece was gonna be a good one. We patched this spot where the veneer was peeling off, uh, got all the loose veneer, and then patched it with Bondo. Uh, got it filled in really good, and after it dried, we sanded it down flush. We gave the entire piece a good scuff sand using 120 grit sandpaper to get the surface prepped for paint. We planned to give gel stain a try for the first time and we were going to leave all of the drawers in the top in a stain and paint the body of the piece. So we removed all the hardware and began prepping the top and the drawers to apply the gel stain. We attempted to use General Finishes gel stain in antique walnut on this top. We followed the directions on the back of the can to prep the surface to get it ready for stain. Uh, for some reason, this top did not take the stain well uh, at all, actually. Uh, and then the more we looked at it, I believe this whole top piece is like a um, solid laminate, like sheet of plastic. And so it wasn't absorbing the stain. And while we decided what to do about that, we used Kills Heavy Duty Stain Blocking Primer just to go over the areas we had to repair and everywhere we broke through the finish while scuff sanding. For this project, we decided to try Melange Paints for the first time ever, and we went with their One Paint, which is a primer, paint, and top coat all in one. And we chose the color Monty Teal, and we absolutely loved this paint. This paint is self-leveling and with our zebra brushes, it went on so smooth. I'm pretty sure this is my favorite paint. We applied the first coat and then allowed about two to three hours of dry time and applied a second coat. We were really wanting to try and get a wood finish look on this top, so we decided to try a stripper to see if it was maybe just a thick coat of protectant on this top. After we applied this citrus orange stripper to the top of this dresser, let it sit overnight, came back the next morning to scrape it off, and of course, looked exactly the same. This is when I examined it a little closer and realized it was just a thick sheet of plastic laminate. Since there seemed to be no good solution to keep a wood finish on the top, we decided to paint it. So we scuff sanded the edges, which apparently were real wood, and primed them just because we had broke through the finish when some of the stripper got on there. And then we applied two coats of the Melange One paint to the top, just as we had with the rest of the piece. We were determined to have at least some part of this dresser to have some wood grain showing through. So we sanded the drawers down to bare wood and to get them prepped for some stain. So Ryan cleaned the drawers using mineral spirits and then we once again tried to use the general finishes oil-based gel stain and antique walnut on these drawers.
The stain took beautifully, so then we used some Minwax Wipe On Poly to seal the drawers. As you can kind of see here, the drawers looked a little blotchy, so we had to put our heads together and we came up with a plan and it actually was one of those happy accidents that turned out even better than expected. So we decided to add these painted stripes to the front of the door drawers and you'll see how this turns out. We purchased some black hardware off of Amazon that were the same size as the existing holes so we could just put them right in and they really updated the look of the piece. If you like how this piece turned out, please give this video a thumbs up and let us know in the comments. And if you want to see more of our furniture flips, just subscribe to our channel and we post new videos every Friday.